like this one bit. It doesn't matter how many maggots you've got, I'll crush them all.
you've got.
dirty trick. Now I'm mad.
this one bit. Just... <laughs> 
Lightning one. It's not the great who are strong. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Galaxy erased. IC one six one three erased. NGC six eight two two erased. At this rate, everything will be deleted. Our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. Oh no! Do you think that maybe we were too late?
I wonder what's going to happen. Just believe. Just believe that we exist here and now. You're right. We're not just mere data that someone created. Mm -hmm. Just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up. No way! That's right, Sophia. Choose to live! There's nothing left. Everything has completely vanished. Light, air, even my own body no longer exists. Absolute nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing really exists anymore? But, if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. So, there is something left. There has to be. That means that I'm still alive. Welcome back, Fate. Hey! <laughs> You're late, fool. Welcome back, Fate. Hey, guys. Took you long enough. Yeah. I see you guys are okay, too. What a relief. I wonder what happened to us. Don't ask me, idiot. How the hell would I know? All that we can see in our dimension, and everything we can touch, it's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. Without perception, there is no existence. And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceive that dimension, really do exist. You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real.
That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. He merely deleted all the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? Maybe. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Nevertheless, we still feel its existence in our minds. If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. We exist here, and so does the universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Yeah, let's go, Fate. To our... To everyone's universe!
It's about that time. Yes, it is. Say hi to the old man for me. And apologize to him. Tell him I'm sorry I can't take over the dojo. Sure, Cliff. Is his health all that bad? I can't believe it. He's such a tough old guy, I'm... I always thought he was indestructible. I think he's exaggerating a little bit. He just wants me to come home, that's all. I see. Well, he sure does seem down in the dumps. Maybe it's just his age catching up with him. Probably. And I've been away for so long. Yeah. The transport Canis will be departing for Claw System shortly. Passengers wishing to board the Canis should report to Gate 3. Your attention, please. Well, I have to go or I'll miss the transport. See you later, Cliff. I'm sorry. I wish I could go back with you. But it's pretty much impossible the way things stand. Yes, you got the short end of the stick again. Don't worry about it. That's what I like about you, Cliff. I guess that's about as much as you can do with those limp noodles you call arms. If you want to go home, go right ahead. No, I can do a few more. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not like I'm forcing you or anything. If you can't handle how I do things around here, feel free to quit at any time. Got it? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, whatever are you making them do? I'm merely training your subordinates, as you seem unfit for the task. I'm commanding this unit, Father, not you. Please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Their main tasks involve office work and research. There's no need to force them to train like this. What are you talking about? 
Are these pallid wimps supposed to be recognized as members of the Shield Legion, which is entrusted with the defense of the kingdom? The owner of a healthy body is the owner of a healthy spirit. You spoil them too much. The way you do things, only owners of unhealthy spirits will be left, Father. I have my own way of doing things. Please stop interfering. All right, everyone. Time to head back. Please, Lady Claire, no. Allow me to continue a little longer. He's right. We're so close. Watch me. I'll make it to the end. I know I can. What? See? They all want to finish. Why don't you just back off, huh? Huh? A hundred and seven. A hundred and eight. I can do more. A hundred and twelve. Lady Claire, I'm sorry. Feel the burn. A hundred and... I'm out. Father, what have you been telling them? Look at these people. It's not healthy to train until you faint. Nah, it's no big deal. I just promised them that whoever lasts till the end of my workout program gets to marry you. That's all. Well, it's not like you've got somebody else picked out, so I'll pick one for you. Father, now that's really going too far. I'll pick my own husband, thank you very much. You know, that's why you're still single after all this time. I think part of the problem is that you don't associate with any gentleman. And at your age, too. I'll thank you not to worry about that sort of thing. Who'd have known there was a place like this in the dungeons underneath the castle? The elite investigative team hasn't come back. Did they fight over credit or goof up? I didn't think they'd have any problem with this mission. I guess I expected too much from them. They may be useless, good-for-nothing worms. But I guess I'd better at least recover their corpses. <sighs> Another guest. First six, then one. Foolish bravery, or is it recklessness? You look like something of a fighter, but you are still a man of this world. You are no match for me. It would be best for you if you just went home peacefully. Or would you prefer to become another one of my mute servants, like those who came before? Ho oh, ho! So you're the cause of all the problems. And what if I was? Don't expect to die painlessly. I'll smash your face until you're begging me to kill you and get it over with. <laughs> you're a brave one. However... I am a servant of the gods, created by Falstaff, the god of death. Do you really think I would sully myself? by fighting with a lowly mortal organism like yourself. 
Korima, Raksa, Mizua, Saska, come out, my servants. extend a special hand of charity to you and retrieve you as my own. Look at what's happened to you, fools! Think of your place! Ah, how terribly unfortunate. Very well. It is time for you to burn in eternal despair! After learning about our country's state of confusion, the noblemen of Greton, where the damage was relatively minor, formed a conspiracy to take advantage of the situation. However, now that the Lord of Arzum has been stricken with an illness, the conspiracy is slowly dying out. Is that so? This is very unfortunate for the Lord of Arzum, yet very fortunate for our country. We have asked our citizens to suffer too much already. Now, our sacred kingdom of Aquaria has lost even the ability to avoid useless conflicts. In the years to come, until our kingdom's strength has recovered, we will have many difficult missions. We are counting on you. Yes, Your Majesty. Please, this goes without saying. I have yet to earn the honor of serving the Crimson Blade, but I will not betray your majesty's sacred trust. I will spare no efforts in these tasks. It would seem we can stop worrying about Greeton for a while. Although Ariglyph is another story, according to the reports of the Spectral Legion, everything is peaceful in the Sandmite region. So, it would appear that domestic problems are our main concern. We agree. We do not want to believe this, but... Domestic problems? We just received a report from Claire. There is a sense of restlessness among certain wealthy merchants in Paterni. We have not determined the size or objectives of this plot, or who the ringleaders are, or any such details, but we must begin an official investigation. You are to select one appropriate person to handle this. We also plan to assign a member of the Chain Legion, who is familiar with the local area, to assist in this investigation. Understood. Very well. I will undertake this mission. Hmm. Are you sure? But Nell, you just returned home. You must still be tired. Should you not assign this task to someone else? No, Your Majesty. I need to keep working. It's the only way I can relax now. This will not do. Trusting the capabilities of one's subordinates and giving them appropriate tasks to build up experience, these are also the responsibilities of those who lead. Entrust this job to another. Her Majesty has spoken. You must send one of your subordinates. What? Don't tell me you're actually complaining about taking a few days off. I will give the matter due consideration. In that case, you are dismissed. With the past war, our country finds itself in dire need of what personnel it has left. Take good care of yourself. 
Thank you very much. Then I will take my leave now. Hello, Professor Elena. You have an audience with Her Majesty? That's right. It's about the motor I developed based on channeled force. I see. I haven't seen you in a long time. You sure look busy. But you're so young. Why don't you try to do some of the things only the young can do? I'll support you any way I can. You know, I could say the same to you. I hear you really put everything you've got into your research. But that doesn't matter, since I'm not young anymore. Anyway, I'll see you later. It wouldn't do to keep Her Majesty waiting any longer. And Professor Elena, why do you work so hard for all of us? It's because I like this world, at least as much as anyone else does. Do you have a problem with that? All right, it's about time. System lock. Gravitic warp field released. Now, let's return from gravitic warp space to normal space. Okay, and the rest is all up to the autopilot. About 30 minutes left till we reach Genesis system. Thing I don't get is why we have to meet face to face in this day and age. What a waste of time. All we have to do is take care of this through communications or whatever. That's a tricky problem. When technology moves forward, ways to abuse it are also born. Unless everyone in the universe suddenly turns into good little boys and girls someday, I think meeting face to face will still be the safest way to go. Ah, boss, you're awake already? We've still got some time left before we arrive. I know, but we're gonna meet with some bigwigs from the old Federation government. I don't know how we'll handle them in the new government, but I can't just roll out of bed right before our meeting, can I? <laughs> I guess it's tough to be famous. <laughs> I didn't get famous on purpose. It was more of a process of elimination thing. But honestly, flying all over the place on a daily basis like this? Doesn't it give you lots of food for thought? I'm always worried that my wife will leave me or something. Actually, today's my daughter's birthday, but here I am. You gotta go home sometimes. I'm no ogre, you know. If you ask for a vacation, I won't say no. That won't work either, will it? Since Quark has disbanded, we really lack personnel. Well, I guess I'm still all right. My wife? She understands about all that. Ah, that reminds me. I put all the mail that arrived while you were asleep in the usual place. You've got about 200 this time. At least 20 of those are priority A, too. Ugh, I bet it's fan letters from all those two-faced geezers again, huh? Well, I can't just ignore them, but they're so depressing to read, I just don't feel like looking at them. There were some dinner date invitations from some fine young women mixed in there, too. What's that? From who? 
From Ophelia of Tetragenesis and Allie of the planet Midgard, one invitation each. Well, they are both beautiful, but I bet this'll turn out even worse than the letters from those old men. I never was any good at figuring out what those kinds of people are really thinking. Just more ulcers for me as always. All I want is a nice, relaxing dinner. If only fate or Maria would come back, things would go a little bit easier. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's not like they were doing what they were doing for the fun of it anyway. Someday events may draw them back out again, but until that happens, I don't expect to see those two involved in politics. If they'd show up, everything would be so much easier. Yeah, well, you know this is an age-based ranking system, so there's nothing we can do. Till it's our turn to pass the baton, all us old folks can do is keep on struggling. I myself want to find a place to retire and take it easy for a while. The best thing about the whole thing is, we know the next generation is excellent, so there's nothing to worry about. I agree with both points. Still, I guess there's no use complaining. We'll just have to work as hard as we can to leave as few problems as possible for the next generation. That's the job of old guys like us. At last, time to say goodbye to the ship. If you think about it, all the days of my struggle began and ended on this ship. Thinking back again, it wasn't such a long time, but there's still so much that we have to remember. This is the last chance. All right, I'm gonna do it. Uh, um, Captain, I have something I want to talk to you about. Do you mind? Oh boy, there he goes, there he goes. All right, either he succeeds or everything falls apart. What a sight to behold. Thank you for all your hard work. I never would have been able to make it this far without you. Thanks, Lieber. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, Captain, I mean, Maria, um, that is, I mean... What is it? What are you so nervous about? If there's something I can help with, just say the word and I'll do it. Are you sure you want to let this chance pass you by? Won't you regret it later? Don't let it stress you out. Follow your heart. Hmm. It's okay. I've gotten over him. You can keep fighting for a lost cause forever, you know. You'd have to be pretty stupid to keep trying and trying. Like good old Lieber here. Okay, let's all go back home to where we belong. We have to start our new lives for ourselves now. Thank you for traveling aboard the transport ship Hornet, which is bound for the planet Roke and Kratos Spaceport 3. The ship will be arriving in our Kula system in 12 days, followed by our final destination of Roke, after a total of 14 days in transit. Please, enjoy your flight. Two weeks, that's pretty long.
Now that the Creator has left this universe, a new universe created by the formal inhabitants of the Eternal Sphere has been born. Birth, prosperity, glory, decline, destruction, and then rebirth. Ever since the dawn of history, these events have been repeated over and over. But what happened this time was something completely different from all that came before. Rebellion against the Creator, the unforgivable sin. Did we do the right thing? Can we as humans bear the weight of this sin? Hey you! What are you looking so glum for? You're adults, ain't ya? So act like adults! Um, miss? You know, I have no idea what happened to you, and I don't want to know. But you know, you can't do a dang thing about stuff that's already happened. Stop moping around and start thinking about something else. Some people, always feeling sorry for themselves. Man, I tell ya, I can't stand adults like you who always worry about the past. Drives me crazy. So what's your problem? Well, you got something to say to me? Then just say it. Uh, oh, sorry. Please forgive her. The things kids say... wrong with what I said. Rumina, please. A whole lot of people lost their families, loved ones, and friends in this war. Try thinking a little bit about their suffering and their sadness. If you did, you'd never say things like that. Yeah? Well, what's crying gonna change? Nothing. Cry all you want. It won't help. Am I wrong? Rumina, please. Please don't talk like that. People who can't understand the pain of others are the worst people around. What? What are you talking about? Ruddle, you... Wait, it's okay. She's right. Yeah, you're right. It's exactly like you said. We have to be more positive. Crying about things won't change anything. Thanks, Rumina. You've taught me a valuable lesson. Huh? What? <sighs> well, good. As long as you know what I mean. You've got it right. When your very existence is denied, if you accept that and don't even try to fight, you might as well be dead. If we don't act to protect our own selves, then who will do it for us? A migratory bird. I wonder what everyone's doing right now. Now that I think about it, I did do a lot of crazy things. Maybe I should stay out of sight for a while. On the bright side, my college is closed indefinitely. Worrying won't get me anywhere. What happens, happens. I guess I'll take it easy for a while. 